Hello, and welcome to another tutorial by HarlaPenguin.com. My name is Norm, and I will be your host today. So for today's tutorial, we are going to show how to rotate a camera around an object using a Python script. In the past, I, I've used a lot of keyframes to set up cameras to rotate around objects, and it just seems like it takes a lot of time to set up. Today, I'm going to show you a very quick script, which is available at harlapenguin.com, that you can use to set up the rotation very quickly. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my screen and show scripting. The scripting view is, is great for setting up a script for a couple of reasons. One, you still have your object view. You also get a text editor where we will enter the script. And then down here is a console. And as I'm developing scripts, I like to use the console just to test different commands and, and try different things. We're going to create a new script. And I am going to call this rotate.py. So to start off this script, I am going to set up a few imports. And this will bring in, this will bring in some libraries. So first, the normal Blender Python library. And then we are also going to use a library that is called NumPy. In the notes for this, I will include a link to a great video series that's available on, on YouTube that goes into a lot more depth on what NumPy is and how it can be used. As a quick overview, it, it's a set of functions, and in particular, matrix functions, that we will use to set up a rotation matrix. And I'm going to import that for convenience as NP. I am going to import math and import math utils. All right, so we need a couple of variables. And first, we need a variable to store our camera. So for this one, I'm going to say camera equals BPY dot data dot objects. And this is camera. And I am going to set a camera origin that is actually a NumPy array. Also, a, it could be considered a, a matrix for camera.location. And this just holds the, the origin location of the camera. Now I am going to add another variable that I will call theta. And that is equal to two times math.pi divided by 250. And what this, what this is saying is I want the camera to rotate completely around the cube, so two pi radians, over the course of 250 frames. So for each frame, I just need to move this theta angle. Now I am going to put a new function and I will define this function as rotate camera. And since I'm going to set this up as, as a handler, this will take a parameter for scene. And I am going to create within this a variable called new theta. And this will simply be equal to our theta variable times the current frame, which we can access by scene dot frame underscore current. All right, now we are going to set up a rotation matrix, again, using NumPy. And I, in this tutorial, I am not going to go into a lot of detail as to how this rotation matrix works. I will put a number of, of materials into the notes 
that explain how a rotation matrix works. But essentially, we're setting up a matrix with predefined functions, and then we will multiply that matrix times our position, and we will end up with, with a new position. So we are going to, in the first element of the matrix, we're going to have cosine of nu theta. In the second element, we will have negative sine of nu theta. And then in, the, in the, the last element, or, or the z, we will have 0. And then on the next row, we will have sine of nu theta, cosine of nu theta, and 0. And then in the last row, we will simply have 0, 0, 1. And this is, if, you, if you're familiar with matrices, this is essentially uh, an identity row. All right. Now we are going to perform the, the matrix multiplication. So camera.location equals NP period dot camera origin underscore rotation matrix. And this function will do a dot product between the camera origin matrix and the rotation matrix. Now we are going to have a, a separate function called set rotation. And this will simply establish our handlers. And the first thing that I like to do when setting up handlers is I like to clear old handlers. So I'm going to type bpy.app.handlers.frame underscore change underscore pre dot clear. So the handler that we are going to use for this is frame change pre, which means that whenever the frame is about to change, it will trigger this handler and it will call our specified rotate camera function. When I'm clearing these handlers, I, the reason for clearing the handlers is if you run the script multiple times without clearing the handler, it will set up a new handler each time. And each time it, it, will, it will run the, the function that we set up. So for example, if, if I run this script three times, then rotate camera would be called three times. This, the way that I clear the handlers is, is not super friendly to any other handlers that may be on this. It just clears all handlers that are attached to frame underscore change underscore pre. Now I'm going to register a new handler. And this one, very similar in how it's set up. bpy.app.handlers frame underscore change underscore pre dot append, meaning I'm appending this handler. And for, for the parameter, I will simply add rotate camera, which is our function up here. And then at the very end of this, because of when I run the script, I want it to do something, I will call set rotation. Now, hopefully we have typed everything correctly. And we'll click run script. And it appears that it ran correctly. If, if there was any, any mistake, so if, for example, if, if I uh, was missing that parenthesis and I click run script, get a very red row up here. So instead, we'll put that back, run the script, everything looks okay. And then we will run the animation, Alt-A. And as you can see, our camera is rotating around. So great, it's, it's rotating, but it's not focused on the cube. You can see it is just rotating around the cube. So to stop this, we're actually going to click on the camera, 
click on the cube and we will we'll type control T and track to constraint. Now when I run the animation it rotates around and stays focused on the cube. So now that we have this set up, any time that we want to rotate an object around an object, all we have to do is load this script. We will amend this variable to whatever object we want to rotate around and run the script. And then it, as in, in our case, if we want to focus on an object as we rotate around, we will set the tracked constraint. So that's it. Very easy. As I said, this script will be available on harlapengrin.com as well as, as additional details about how to set this up. Uh, if you have any questions, please add some comments and let us know if there are any other tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks for watching.